Welcome everyone to Practical Self-Healing for Your Soul, Heart, Mind, and Body. This is episode four and this is Alan Chuck, one of the master teachers and healers serving wonderful people like you from all over the world from the Master Shah Dao Healing Center in Toronto, Canada. So in the first three episodes, I really haven't offered you or taught you any self-healing. You know, what I did was introduce my teacher, Dr. and Master Jigang Sha, S-H-A, from whom I've learned basically everything that I'm teaching you in this series. And I, I went into some of the basic sort of some of the fundamental techniques that we will be using in doing self-healing. And very quickly, there are six power techniques that Master Shah has taught and introduced to the world. And in my previous program, I shared the first four of these. And that these four were actually ancient, ancient techniques that were used in ancient China. But variations of these techniques are actually used in many cultures and many countries and many practices by many different peoples all over the world and in history. So very quickly, body power, shed me, body secrets, and using your body, your hand positions, sound power, ko me, mouth secrets, using sacred vibrational healing sounds, chanting sacred mantras and such, chanting positive messages, affirmation. Mind power, e me, thinking power, thinking secrets, visualization, setting your intention, meditation of all, all different styles and all different techniques. But the secret of secrets was the fourth one. These were the original four power techniques that Master Shah taught, which is soul power. Ling Mi, soul secret, which is to connect with the soul of anyone and anything that could be related to your healing request, as well as it could support and bless your healing request. Inner souls, the souls of your own requests, and outer souls, the souls of the universe, the souls of heaven, who can assist you in your healing and blessing requests. So this was the secret of secrets, but it's so simple. Say hello healing. Just talk to the soul. There's a specific simple protocol, a specific simple formula, but it's so simple. And we will be doing it in every practice, and it is really the secret of secrets because it is the most powerful. So the last two of Master Shah's six power techniques, which I did not discuss last week, in the previous episode, breathing power uh, or breath power, who she me. Breathing, inhaling is who, and exhaling is she in Mandarin Chinese. So this is who she together is breathing, inhaling and exhaling, breathing power. And then finally, Tao calligraphy power, which is the some of the highest power, and I will introduce that in future programs. But today we're actually going to do a practice finally for self-healing. Tao calligraphy power in Mandarin is Tao Shufa. Shufa is calligraphy. Tao is a name for the source. Me, secrets. Tao calligraphy, secret. Okay. So today we're actually going to do some self-healing. And we're going to do it for stress, you know, which is not a physical ailment. It's not a physical condition, but it's it's an emotional and a mental condition, right? Where do you feel stress? You can manifest stress in your mind. You have all kinds of worried thoughts. You can manifest stress in your heart. You can be anxious, which not only is a manifestation of stress, it causes stress. Or you can be depressed, which can cause stress. So there are many, many aspects of our life and especially in our world today with our busy, hectic lives and all the demands on 
that you may have as a as a mother, as a caregiver to your elders, as a, someone who's working, as someone who's studying, whatever it is in your life that has a potential to bring stress into your life. So we're going to focus on three practices to get at the root of stress, okay? And if you don't have stress, wonderful. Okay, you're very blessed. I, I can tell you I have very little stress in my life. I, although I'm very busy, I work very hard, but I just love what I do, and I love all the people I, I work with, I do it with, such as all of you. So that means that I have very little stress in my life. Now, if you don't have stress in your life, this will help you relax even more, okay? And give you an even more peaceful heart and mind, a more quiet heart and mind, okay? So let's start with our heart, then we'll go to our mind, and then maybe we'll go to our body, okay? So let's start with our heart. You know, stress is, if we have a peaceful, quiet, calm heart, no stress okay so heart the heart is one of the keys for stress so put one hand body power put one palm over your heart put your other palm over your lower abdomen foundational area okay and soul power dear soul heart mind body shen chi jing of my heart I love you. You have the power to reduce, eliminate, prevent stress. You have the power to be calm, peaceful, happy. Do a good job. So this is a basic protocol for soul power for your inner souls. Now let's ask for help from outer souls. Dear Mother Earth, the Sun, the Moon, Dear Heaven, the Divine, Tao Source, whoever, whatever you believe in, dear countless saints, Buddhas, angels, guardians, and more, I love you. Please bless me to have a calm, peaceful, stress-free heart and life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so sound power, we're going to inhale, we're going to use breath, breath power, breathing power. We're going to inhale, inhale, mind power, form a golden light ball in your heart. Exhale and chant, ah, and let it radiate as you have a calm, peaceful heart. Okay, so inhale. Inhale golden light. Form a golden light ball in your heart. Exhale, chant the sacred secret mantra, ah, for the heart to vibrate and energize and bring peace and calm and, and enlighten our hearts. Okay? Let's do it together a few times. Inhale. Uh, and breathe deeply. That's also stress reducing by itself. So the sound power is ah. Uh, we're doing, using the breathing power. The mind power is visualizing the golden light ball forming and then radiating when we exhale. Ah. Uh,
deep breath and relax your body when you exhale. Enjoy the light radiating, exploding from that light ball in your heart. Ah, uh, seven more times. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, open your eyes. Let's give gratitude for this practice for the souls who also blessed us. How, how, how. Good, good, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the breathing is very, very powerful because often when we're stressed, we we forget to breathe, basically, right? We Our breathing gets shallow, gets uh, rapid, and because we're not, you know, we're, we're blocking our own natural bodily processes when we're under stress. We have tension. We'll work on the body at the end of today's brief program. Okay, so how was that? Was that helpful for you? Did that reduce any stress you may have had? Did that um, bring more relaxation and peace to your heart? Now let's do a similar practice for the mind, okay? Because when we are stressed, we often have worrisome thoughts, anxious thoughts, fearful thoughts, negative thoughts, depressed thoughts. And we can't maybe think clearly. We can't focus. We can have all kinds of racing thoughts that kind of spiral out of control. So let us focus on a self-healing practice for the mind, for the brain, for reducing stress. Okay, Very similar. Put one hand on your forehead. And when we inhale, keep your other hand over your lower abdomen below your navel. And when we inhale, we're going to visualize the golden light ball forming in our head, in our brain. Nice, big, bright, shiny golden light ball. And when we exhale, it will radiate light, bringing peace and calm to our mind, to our thoughts, clarity and focus, whatever it is you need more of to reduce stress. And as we chant, our sound power will be a little bit different. There is a secret, sacred mantra, a vibrational healing sound for the brain. And it is E, pronounced like E, E, long E's. It's spelled Y, I in pinyin for Mandarin Chinese, but it's pronounced E. So the Y is silent, long E sound, okay? Right. Dear Shen Chi Jing of my brain and my mind, my consciousness, I love you. You have the power to calm yourself. You have the power to be clear, peaceful, focused. Do a good job. Thank you. This too will help reduce my stress and prevent new stress. Do a good job. Dear outer souls, Mother Earth, the Sun, the Moon, countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. Dear Heaven, the Divine, Tao Source. Dear my spiritual fathers and mothers in Heaven, 
Name anyone you wish to name. I love you. Please calm my mind, bring peace to my mind, empower me to do totally non-stressful thinking. Focused, clear, concentrated thinking and to relax my mind when I need to, when I want to. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Inhale. E times. E deep breath. E Close this practice to reduce stress in our minds, our brains, to bring peace and calm to our minds, our thoughts, and more. How, how, how. H-A-O, H-A-O, H-A-O. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, how was that? Okay, post some comments. These are very simple practices that you can certainly do on your own at any time. You're feeling stressed, you need to reverse that stress, prevent it from building up and actually reverse it and remove it, okay? Or anytime you want to uh, relax, you know, breathing is an, an integral part of this. And, but however, doing it in a group is more powerful because we are synergizing and synthesizing our power, our soul power, our body power, our mind power, our sound power, and our breathing power. So it is more powerful to do it in a group like this. Now let's uh, work on the body a little bit. Okay, we have a few minutes left. Um, often stress will manifest in as tension in our bodies, right? Muscular tension. You know, if you, like me, you spend a lot of time in your front of your computer, as I am right now, but I'm enjoying it, uh, you can develop muscular tension. So, you know, physical things are important to do as well. You know, our upper body, especially when we're hunched over a computer or hunched over some printed material or something, then our upper body muscles can tighten, contract, get tension. Stress itself can create tension, right, in our bodies. So let's do something physical just a couple of times. Wrap, put your fingers together behind your neck, all right, and stretch out, open your chest, put your shoulder blades, contract your shoulder blades together, 
and open the muscles in your upper body. Expand the muscles in your upper body, your chest, and you may have some tension in your neck, you know, move your neck around as well. And do this a few times. Stretch, really stretch. Open, breathe deeply. Don't forget to breathe. Ah, uh, we'll chant love. We'll just give love to our muscles, ourselves. Love. Love. So just doing physical stretches and things is important too, but let's Let's use the five power techniques again. Find a part of your body where you have some stress, maybe some muscular tension. If you don't have any, that's great. Find any part of your body where you want some healing and prevention, rejuvenation even, all right? I will use my neck. Put one palm over that part of your body and put your, keep your other palm over your lower abdomen. Same thing, we're going to breathe in, form a light ball where you want the healing, okay? Where you want reduced tension and stress. And we're going to see it explode in light. And we're just going to chant love this time, to give ourselves love. Give that stressed part of our body love because love heals. Okay, together, inhale deeply. Love, love, love. Of course, we want, we have to mean it. Give, truly give your love. Don't just say the word, truly give your love to your own stressed part of the body. Love. Love. And if you've never done this before, that part of your body is saying, Oh, Alan, you're so sweet. Thank you for giving me your love. I love you back. I'm going to do my best to heal for you. Inhale. Love, because everything has a soul, heart, mind, and body. Every part of your body, that part of your body has a soul, it has a consciousness. Love. Love. Four more times. Really give love to breathe deeply. See the light ball exploding with love and light. Love. Love. If you have self-love issues, it's a good practice to practice giving yourself love, giving parts of your body love, giving your mind love, and more. So please post anything you'd like to post regarding your experience or any questions. Let's close with a quick grounding. Now put both palms over your lower abdomen and visualize the light ball just forming and radiating in your lower abdomen a few times. Silently. Love. Second time. Love. Golden light ball in your lower abdomen. Third time. Love. And fourth and final time. 
love. So it's often in, in many self-healing practices and even in many spiritual practices, it's very often a very good idea to do a grounding practice afterward, such as this. Very simple grounding practice. So that will conclude today's program. I will quickly scan your comments and say hello to Tasha, Laura, Keys, and Harsha, Smita, Parul, Kristen, and uh, Mary, and Naveen. Okay, some of you can't smile. Stop smiling. You feel peaceful. That's exactly what I was hoping for. You can do this yourself. Uh, Vanil, um, very happy to be here in the practice. Thank you, Vanil. I don't know some of you, so it's nice to meet some of you. I know many of you, and it's nice to be with you again. Parvana, Carol, and more. Okay, thank you, everybody. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Master Shah himself will be on Facebook Live at 2 p.m. Eastern Time today hosted by William Gladstone, and if you can't watch that at that hour, the recording should be, be available on the Dr. and Master Shah Facebook page. So do not miss that. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Shimona. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy Monday. Love you all.